Hi, I'm Tim. I'm an economist and new professor here at HMS. I'm interested in health insurance markets. I know, it's kind of boring, but you know, I get really excited about the topic and somebody's got to do it. My specific interest is in studying health insurance for low-income and disabled Americans. These are vulnerable groups that struggle in a lot of ways, and I care deeply about ensuring that they have access to high-quality health care that doesn't break the bank of state or federal budgets. When we talk about health care for the poor, we're talking about Medicaid, a government program for providing health insurance to low-income and disabled Americans. When it comes to Medicaid, there are three things you should know. First, it's huge. Over 70 million Americans get their health coverage through Medicaid. Second, it's expensive. We spent almost $500 billion on Medicaid in 2014. Third, it's growing. Both enrollment and spending increased about 14% in 2015. These facts make it critical for us to understand more about this program. There are a lot of downsides to studying Medicaid. First, the data sucks. There are a lot of missing pieces, inconsistencies, etc. Second, people move in and out so quickly it's hard to observe anything about them. And third, complexity, complexity, complexity. But it's not all bad. First, complexity can be helpful. Variation in the structure of Medicaid programs across states and over time allows us to use the so-called laboratory of democracy to perform natural experiments to study questions by comparing outcomes in states that change their policies to states that don't. Second, there's also a feature of many state Medicaid programs that represents the holy grail of academic research. States often randomly assign Medicaid enrollees to different forms of Medicaid coverage. Random is the magic word here, and it means that we essentially have clinical quality, randomized controlled trials of different forms of Medicaid coverage at our fingertips just waiting to be leveraged to answer critical and highly policy relevant questions. So I'm interested in answering two key questions. First up, the age-old question of privatization. Is it better for states to provide Medicaid benefits themselves or to contract these services out to private firms? Second, now most states have made the public versus private decision and come down on the private side of the equation. This suggests that the next relevant question is, how do they set up the private programs to ensure that the private insurers provide the highest quality benefits to the poor at the lowest cost to the taxpayer? 